What's happening now in Australia about refugees, asylum seekers? Australia it has a policy, a stop the boats policy, whereby it says that any refugees who arrive in Australia by boat are prevented from uh, entering Australia. This often includes military force used against those boats whereby they're towed back and returned to countries where refugees can face arrest, detention um, and or be sent back to violence and persecution. Um, this is a deterrence policy so it's designed to punish those who arrive by boat. What happens is that Australia um, imprisons refugees who arrive by boat on um, uh, isolated islands, Christmas Island, uh, but also um, isolated Pacific Islands like uh, Nauru and Manus Island. Um, th the conditions on these camps are so dire that they've been found to amount to torture by the UN, so in breach of the UN Convention Against Torture. Um, the uh, conditions are so bad that there is extreme self-harm regularly on, the, um, on Manus Island and on Nauru. Um, two refugees in recent months have self-immolated, so set themselves on fire including uh, one, ref one of those refugees who died. The other is a 19-year-old um, uh, refugee named Hodan. She um, is in hospital, Omid Masumali, as you can see the sign here behind me. Um, he is a, was a 23-year-old Iranian refugee who died after setting himself on fire on Nauru. He didn't receive um, any medical care uh, for, for a prolonged period of time and uh, for 22 hours didn't receive any intravenous pain relief. Um, so the Austra we're calling for the uh, Stop the Votes policy to be abolished, for the Australian government to um, uh, uh, fulfil its obligations under the 1951 Convention to accept refugees and to stop returning refugees to persecution. So this boat today that we took into the embassy and we asked the embassy to receive symbolises all refugees trying to seek safety. Governments can provide safe passage to refugees. There is an alternative to deterrence policies. Refugees can be given visas. Uh, Governments can stop putting visa requirements on refugee producing countries. They can allow refugees safe passage. European governments should be doing the same. They shouldn't be leaving refugees to die at sea in their thousands when they, should, when they could be granting them safe passage. So we're all here today to demand governments um, give safe passage to refugees. Now we are expecting new elections in Australia. What will change if there is a government change? Is there any hope for refugees, sir? Eh? Well, the two principal parties in Australia, both the Labour Party and the Liberal Party, they both support the offshore detention of refugees. So the two major parties both support that policy. The Green Party has adopted a different policy. Of course, if one of the two major parties wins, which is the likely outcome, unfortunately, it seems that that policy um, hasn't changed. But there are there is a movement against um, the offshore detention, uh, and there have been a number of direct actions and protests in Australia. Um, this week in Sydney, uh, people are being asked to chalk their support for refugees all over the city during refugee week. So it's hoped that um, there will be some change, um, some push um, uh, uh, to uh, support the uh, 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 abolition of offshore detention. And some people uh, see the Australian immigration system as uh, a model also for Europe, in particular for Britain, if uh, Britain gets out of the EU after the referendum. What do you think about the, in this case immigration, not only a refugee uh, system, but uh, the, the way to, to come to settle in uh, to Australia? Yes, that is right. The racist Brexit campaign and the campaign leaders have called for an Australian style immigration system here in Europe. Um, here in Britain. Uh, of course, um, uh, these uh, leaders have run a generally very racist and xenophobic campaign. The Australian points immigration system is highly selective. It basically means that white privileged um, people uh, with a lot of capital can get visas to enter, whereas people who uh, are poor, refugees, migrants, those who um, are impoverished d don't have access. Um, of course in this protest today we acknowledge Aboriginal sovereignty over Australian land and, and we find it abhorrent that the Australian government who stole this land from, from the Aboriginal people uh, are now deciding, think that they can decide who can and can't enter. Um, we acknowledge Aboriginal sovereignty over um, Australia. Um, the EU here uh, uh, behaves in ways quite similar to the Australian government already. The new EU-Turkey deal confining refugees to Turkey is essentially setting up camps on its borders of the kinds of people that we don't want to see here. This is as a result of racism and Islamophobia in Europe and Britain is very much in support of these policies. So regardless really of whether the Brexit campaign wins, the British government um, is one of the, is the most fortified of all EU countries. It is not part of Schengen and it supports the, um, uh, uh, the exclusion of refugees from from European territory.